Are you someone who tends to hit the squat rack as you are walking out? Today, Brandon and I are gonna go over a few cues on how to improve your walkout so then that way you aren't having to regain position every time that bar hits as you walk out. So she's gonna go ahead and show us a fault first. And this is, I just wanna kind of capitalize on the fact that this, this is a very, very important issue to cover because this will throw you out of position, and really hurt um, your walkout overall as well as your starting position. As you can see here, she started from a little bit too wide of a stance and because of that, she's hitting the rack on the way out. Go ahead and get back in position for me. Starting too wide here can cause this issue or make it a lot more likely to happen. So that's why we start off in a little bit more narrow of a stance before we actually go to walk out. And that's probably the first fault we want to talk about, just starting a little too wide. The second one is going to be um, walking out with a little too lateral of steps initially. So if she goes lateral right away, as you can see, she's hitting the rack very heavily. So go ahead and get back in position for me. What she's gonna do is she's gonna start in a little bit more narrow of the stance and really focus on backwards motion with her initial steps rather than lateral. And when she does this, she's gonna be far less likely to hit the rack. And then that third step, that final step as she's kind of walking out and getting in good position is gonna be the one that we have that lateral motion. It's back back and then the lateral motion is the last one where we actually decide the width of our squat stance. If we go straight to lateral in the walkout, we're more than likely going to have this issue and this issue can cause a slew of problems in your squat start position. Anything to add there, Cassandra? Consistency is key with your walkout. Make sure that your walkout is part of how you are intentionally setting up for your squat. Another uh, a fault that I tend to see is people just picking up the weight and not really intentionally caring about where their feet go. They're taking too wide of a step. They may take you know, five steps, one set, and then maybe they do three and then seven, another set. So be intentional and try to be consistent every single time.